feel like I'm opening a can of worms with this lesson uh, about isolating the variable because pretty much from now uh, until 20 years from now, all you're going to be doing is isolating variables. So here we go. This is the beginning. You have to learn how to do this to do any kind of algebra and any kind of higher math from here on out. And it's fun. It is awesome. Actually, I know from personal experience, it's enjoyable to isolate variables. Um, so what it means is to get the variable by itself on one side of an equation so that you can see what its value is. So for example, let me grab, where's my, there we go. And today I've been using green, I, I, like, I like green. I might just stick with that for a while. Um, so x plus 2 equals 8. And um, what, what we need to do is to get it to where it just says, Oops, again, green. Okay, where it says x equals some stuff. And then we can just look back, step back, and say, okay, well, what does x equal? So there's this plus 2 that's kind of getting in our way of just having x by itself. So to isolate the variable, we need to subtract that 2 out of there. And whatever we do on one side of the equation, we have to do on the other. So I'm subtracting 2 to get x by itself here. So I also have to subtract 2 on the other side. So 2 minus 2 is 0, so that just disappears. So all we have left is on this side is x. And then 8 minus 2 is 6. So now all we have on this left side of the equation is x. So I can step back, take stock of the situation, and say to myself, self, what does x equal? Well, x equals 6. Let's try one that's a little bit harder. 2x minus 3 equals 7. So we want to isolate the variable, and the variable is x, so we just want to get x by itself. Okay, so to do that, uh, first we need to undo this, this 3 that's being subtracted, get that out of here. So to undo that, we do plus 3, and whatever we do on one side of the equation, we have to do on the other. So we're going to plus 3 over here. So minus 3 plus 3 just cancels out. That's why we did that in the first place. So this side of the equation becomes 2x, and the other side of the equation becomes 7 plus 3, which is 10. Now x still isn't by itself. It's, got, it's being multiplied with the 2. So we want to isolate it. We want to get it by itself. So to undo this multiplication by 2, we divide the 2 away. So and we need to do that to both sides of the equation. So whatever we do to one side, we have to do the other. So 2 divided by 2 is just 1, and 1 times x is just x. So this just becomes x. All right, so it's isolated. Good. And then 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now I can look and say, well, what does x equal? x equals everything on this side, which is 5. Now let's look at a slightly more complicated situation. Take a sip of my tea. I'm kind of losing my voice today, so it's not your fault. But you kind of have to deal with it. I'm sorry. All right. So we want to get x by itself on one side of the equation. And actually, we've got x on both sides of the equation. And these are actually what are called like terms. There's an x here and an x here. So these, that is a like term with that. So what we want to do is we want to pick a side where we want x to be, and then just go with it, and then get just have x on that side, and then everything else on the other side of the equation, so we can see what the value of x is. So in this case, uh, I'm. I think I'll I'll try to make make the x land on this on this side, and then get everything else on the other side. So, um, I will. Oh, let's just subtract the two x first to get the x's on the same side. So, two x minus two x that's just gone. Three uh, x minus two x is just x. Okay. So now this side of the equation says x minus 3. And this side of the equation says 1. OK, so we've got x's only on one side of the equation, so that's good. But it's not the only thing on that side of the equation. So there's one more step to get x by itself to isolate it. The last thing we need to do is to add that 3, because 3 is being subtracted from x. So if we add 3, that'll get rid of that. Add 3 to both sides, so 
uh, this side becomes 1 plus 3, which is 4, and this side is just x. So we've isolated the variable, this time on the right side of the equation. And we can step back and say, what does x equal? It equals 4.